I want to talk about instantaneous rate of change. Instantaneous rate of change is a lot like instantaneous velocity, only it's a little more general. Let's take a look at a problem. A barrel of maple syrup is tapped at t equals zero. The total amount f of t of syrup that is poured out at time t is given by a table. And here I have values two, four, and six for time. And these are the, this is the amount of syrup that's leaked out by that time. At t equals two, 35.83 gallons have leaked out. At t equals four, 54.03. And at t equals 6, 68.11. Now, the idea behind instantaneous rate of change is the same as, idea, as the idea behind instantaneous velocity. I want to take average rates of change over a shorter and shorter increments of time. Here, the increment of time is 2 seconds. So if I take an average rate of change over this increment from t equals 2 to t equals 4, I get 18.2 gallons over 2 minutes, and that gives me 9.1 gallons per minute. So that's an average rate of change of the amount of syrup that's leaked out. But if I do the same thing over this time interval, from t equals 4 to t equals 6, I get a different answer, 14.08. That's the change in the amount of, of syrup that's leaked out over two minutes. I get uh, 7.04 gallons per minute, so a different value. Again, this is a pretty large increment of time. I want to take smaller and smaller increments and see what values these average rates approach. Now here, my increment of time delta t is 0.2 seconds. t equals 3.8, 4, 4.2. And I've calculated average rates here, 54.03 minus 52.45, that's 1.58, divided by the increment of time, 0.2, and I get 7.90. I make the same calculation from 4 to 4.2, and I get 7.70. These two values are getting very close together, and that's the idea that as the increment of time gets smaller and smaller, the average rates of change get closer to each other. And finally, when my increment is as small as 0 0.02, right? That's the difference between these values here and these values here. My average rate is the same to the nearest tenth, 7.8 gallons per minute. So the idea behind average rate of change is as delta t approaches zero, that's the increment of time that you're averaging over. As that approaches zero, the average rate of change approaches the instantaneous rate of change. And so in our example, at t equals 4, the instantaneous rate of change is this value that was approached, 7.8 gallons per minute.